<laughs> okay, hey guys, my name is Warren. Um, today I just want to talk to you about a technique that I've developed for myself over the last few years. Um, the idea is to try and keep yourself at all times in a positive headspace. So that when you find yourself at work or outside of work, um, creeping into a negative or unhappy headspace that you can climb out of that and realize that it's your choice. So it's important to know that I'm not some trained professional, I'm not a psychologist. Um, this is just something that I have tried over the last few years and it's really worked for me. And um, during a long and tough charter season, uh, it really, really helps me to stay in a good frame of mind uh, for myself and when you're in a good frame of mind that transfers over to the crew or to whoever you're working with. So what I do is uh, I initially set time aside and I thought about the things that I wanted to do or the things that I wanted to accomplish. Um, I created a goal in my mind um, and it doesn't have to be a massive goal. It can be, it can be a, a holiday that you want to go on. Uh, you got these love taking holidays. Um, it can be uh, the next course that you want to do. Um, the studying that you have to do for that. Um, or it can be your end result. What do you want to do when you are finished with going? Or how far do you want to go in this business? And get that into your mind's eye. And then how I sort of really drove that home for myself was at the quietest time of the day, just before I go to bed, um, I lie in my bunk and um, I would think about 10 things that I'm grateful for. Um, I would actually say, I am very grateful that. And then I would just, it can be anything. It can be the fact that I saw this video. It can be the fact that I'm fit and healthy. The chef makes me food every day. Um, it can be for my parents, whatever you choose, you can be grateful for anything. Um, then at the end of that, I can, you generally feel once you're in a grateful state that you become happier and then I start to think about my goal, my end result. And it's important to note that the, it takes practice. Um, in the beginning you feel a little bit silly um, and eventually it gets it gets easier and easier but once once you've established that positive relationship with your goal and something happens during the day that tends to upset you um, whether it be big or small then think of your goal take your mind to that space and keep that in your mind's eye and you'll find that the thing that you gave power to a moment ago or the story that was playing over and over in your head all of a sudden instantly disappears and you realize that those things that were upsetting you are inconsequential to you specifically it's a small thing that seems big that you can push out of your mind and with practice it gets better and better and easier and easier now you can find yourself back in that state of mind or that negative state of mind quite easily within the hour just repeat the process again you know if you if you if your goal is to go on your next holiday start planning your holiday keep your keep your mind in that headspace for a little bit long longer a couple minutes and you'll find that your the chemistry of your brain will change you'll slowly just feel a bit lighter and a, and a bit better and um, yeah, then you just become as well just an easier person to be around and to work with, a little less grumpy. So that's what I do. Um, it works for me. Um, I'm glad that I could share it. Um, yeah, I just want everybody to be the best jelly bean that they could be. Like time travelers, the travel through time. The mind traveler can travel.